Hi traders, welcome to this demonstration of the Alerts Pro package from FX Algo Trader. And what we have here is five charts uh, on the M5 time frame, and each chart has got the full package of FX Algo Trader alert based indicators on them. And as you can see, it gets pretty busy in terms of pop up alerts and trying to work out what's going on. At the moment, the market's pretty quiet and we're still getting quite a, a number of alerts being triggered. Admittedly, we have kind of thrown the kitchen sink at this and we've got MACD Turbo running on RSI alert, a stochastic crossover alert, tick volume alert, which isn't configured. Let me just draw a trend line on this tick volume chart so we can start to get some alerts being created for volume changes as well. So the purpose of this video is really to show you what we've done uh, with the Alerts Pro package which allows traders to get s uh, synthesized sound based alerts. So the real reason behind this is it allows traders to step away from the screen and go and do something else but when the, the alert is triggered it's not like this at the moment which is utterly ridiculous it's just dinging sounds which don't mean anything when you, unless you can see the screen. So let me show you the other way uh, of still staying in control of what you're doing with your trading and being fully alerted but not having to be at the screen and not receiving the sta same alert.wav sound which is yeah, standard within MT4. Obviously you can change the sounds, you can upload your own WAV files and all that stuff but it still doesn't really give you any way of differentiating between what's what. So let me show you the new way. Okay, so um, I've loaded the Alerts Pro Java based login screen. I'm just going to log in to the Alerts Pro package. And just going to verify my details on the server, and you can now see the little Alerts Pro icon, which we can move anywhere we want to on our chart, and it always stays on top. And I've got a lot going on on each of these charts as you can see I've, I've fully loaded them so I've got the, all these FX Algo Trader alert based indicators loaded and running and with the Alerts Pro package I can control exactly what I want to be alerted on so I go to alert controls and you can see here these are all the audio clips and the clip controls for each type of alert so with MACD Turbo I can completely define how I want the alert to be put together or sequenced. You're probably wondering what this is all about so let's just show you. Let's just turn all the alerts on and you'll soon understand what this is all about. Euro, US dollar, moving average, 5 minute chart, asset price has crossed 50, period, moving average, possible cross out. See here the moving average on the Euro dollar 5 minute chart is just just kind of tempor temporarily touching this 50 period moving average which is in red here. Uh, so immediately the alert gave us the information we needed. We could go straight to the chart. We knew exactly what to look for. We weren't kind of scrolling through experts uh, tabs in the terminal window down here. We could get straight on it and understand exactly what we're doing. We don't even need to be at the computer. So if you'd heard that alert you could be directed immediately to know what to do or just ignore it if you want to as well. Not every alert is going to be actionable so this is just a way of, of making sure that you're kept abreast of any market changes in real time. Euro, US dollar, moving average, five minute chart, asset price has crossed the 50 period moving average, possible cross out. So there we go again, it's just warning us. We can obviously change the frequency of, how, of when we're alerted by going to the underlying indicator and we see we've got a minimum alert interval here that's in seconds so if I wanted to increase that slightly to say two minutes go to 120 enter that let's put in um, a volume based alert Euro, as well US dollar moving average five minute chart asset price has crossed the 50 period moving average possible cross out we won't hear that again for another two minutes. 
and if we don't like to, if we don't want to have that alert anymore we can just go to movie average cost over here turn it off and what I'm doing here is I'm at the bottom of the screen this is the tick volume alert I want to show you how that works so what I'm doing is I'm just going to increase the channel the, the, basically the trigger channel and I've got a trigger zone in here and I'm going to increase that to say 10 So you can see here, tick volume is coming out at 91.7, so it's rounded up to 92. It's within the specified trigger zone of the indicator. I mean, I can force alerts basically uh, on all of these different uh, indicators, but the real principle behind this is to is to demonstrate to you the capabilities of a synthesized audio alert package, which is running in Java. So doesn't slow down any of the program threads within MetaTrader which means that we can sequence WAV files correctly whereas in MetaTrader you can't because you can't slow down the, the thread um, within any indicators so that's why if you ever try to load uh, long WAV files uh, they end up clipping and, uh, and essentially causing a, a load of trouble so using this approach takes us away from the whole uh, complete audio assault of dinging noises and all this kind of stuff and, and, and pop-ups and having to kind of navigate your way through a load of information about the alerts this tells you uh, in plain English what's going on and that's the key to it really in terms of how this package is going to be shipped US dollar, Canadian dollar, moving average, crossover, five minute chart, five, period, moving average There you go. Sterling, US dollar, stochastic crossover, five minute chart, cross down, percent K line equals 89. So, you know, again, just some nice examples actually in real time while, while I'm doing this video. I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to turn it off for a second actually. Um, so, there we go. Now it's just, it'll just sit there quite happily. Right, the key thing is, is that with this package is it's a Java application, so it can run independently of MT4, as you can see here. Um, we can close MT4 down and it will still run, but obviously it needs the underlying MT4 indicators to create trigger files. So how this is licensed, any existing customers who have got any of the, the seven indicators within the, the range of alert-based indicators can upgrade to the Alerts Pro package. It will be supplied as a one-off purchase price. And then if you need to purchase or fill in the gaps, and you, you may have a couple of the indicators within the range and you want to buy, purchase additional ones, that's no problem whatsoever. So it's a, a bot, an add-on extra for the existing MT4, MQL, MQL4 based indicators. And I've got some additional development ideas which um, I think will take this to another level completely but I, I won't uh, spoil that for the time being so um, more to come I'll give you a clue take a look at Platinum um, which is the automated trend line trading system uh, and that will give you an idea of what I'm getting at I hope this is interesting uh, this package will be productized uh, in the next few days uh, it's basically now working on all the all the alert enabled indicators and I will send a, a, an email out to all the customers once it's ready to roll target price for alerts pro probably something uh, in the sub $200 um, and that's perpetual license so not fixed yet but um, it'll be around that ballpark okay thanks very much for watching hope this is interesting cheers